So, referee Liam Sewell has the puck. And we'll be ready for the opening face-off. Steelers starting out with their second line. So it'll be Mosienko and Lozon taking the opening face-off. It comes back the Stingrays way. And we are underway. Challenge Cup action here at the Hull Arena on Hull Stingrays TV. Mosienko flips it forward. Phillips with the first shot on goal. Saved and a big rebound comes off David Brown. And the net has come off its moorings again. David Brown will be able to put it back on. And play will continue. And now Hewitt, having gained the red line, dumps it across. And Cullinetti operating as a forward tonight. He'll be a winger on this third line. Interesting to see how he makes that transition from forward to D. Puck is loose in the crease, and then it's played out. Shot again is saved. Lechulip and finally forced in. And it's Jason Hewitt who got it. The Stingrays just couldn't get it clear or covered. And it's Jason Hewitt that gets the goal. It turned into the Alamo there for the whole Stingrays. They couldn't quite get themselves onto the puck and freeze that puck. Bit of confusion, Eddie doing well to get the puck down deep. That's what he was explaining before. It's how he likes to play as a forward. And then Jason Hewitt is in the right place at the right time to put that past. 1-0 Steelers. Osman was all over him. That's a nice touch from Lark. And the Stingrays are in business here with Lark. Meyer in support, Lark shot, blocker save. And there's a penalty coming in. I think the Steelers are guilty of a slash. Oh, and then another big hit from Fretter on Lark. And Dominic Osman's gone piling in. And so has everybody else. Fretter felt as he came across the goal he was uh, infringed upon. He then showed good hustle in getting back. Slashed him. At least a judge by the referee to have slashed him. And then that was a big old hit into the boards. Lots of players taking offence to that. Machua has also gone over to the bench, but it'll be Fretter, he'll be in the most trouble at the moment. Words exchanged between Matty Davis and Cullen Eddy on the bench. Dominic Osman is bent over and appears to be in some trouble. And Colton Fretter is gone. So we will see no more of Colton Fretter and this top line that has been so strong for the Steelers this season is going to have to find a new combination up top because Colton Fretter has been kicked out of the game by referee Liam Sewell. We'll have to wait for all these penalties to get sorted out. It may be a while before everything is confirmed. Well, that certainly brought the Stingrays fans to life. Forward pass to Phillips who stepped into the play and he's clean through and he's shot and it's saved by David Brown. That's his best of the period. Trapping it between his arm and his body and keeping the scoreline at 1-0 because Jonathan Phillips got everything into that. So Jordan Mayer just relaying some instructions to Carl Lozon. They have their plan. And Forney back in to take the face off. The plan is I'll win it, you hit it. But he doesn't win it. It's a good win from Forney. And so there's T Rays not able to get an immediate shot off. And that means the first period ends with a scoreline of the Hull Stingrays nil. The Sheffield Steelers won the only goal scored at 3.32 by Jason Hewitt. So we're ready to skate, five on five in the second. The Stingrays in yellow, the Steelers in white. And we're back underway. Referee Liam Sewell, linesman Phil Sewell and Luke Palmer. Lark to Galbraith, couldn't control it on his backhand. And the Steelers can't clear the zone, and Lozon will reach this in the corner. Galbraith takes it from him, and feeds it across. It's Lark again. Turning, one-timer from Lozon is saved and held by Doyle. And he made a couple of key saves late on in the first, and he's tested inside the first 30 seconds of the second period. Stingrays can move into the qualifying positions with two points of their own. Tanaka. On oh, out in front and the backhand's gone in! The Stingrays have got themselves level through Jordan Mayer. The Stingrays started off very sprightly at the beginning of this second period. Helped by a penalty, but they did manage to maintain the momentum from the penalty and from that power play. Kept the uh, offense off them. Onto the Sheffield Steelers. The Steelers will be disappointed. They'll feel like they've haven't come out as brightly as they did at the beginning of the first. Blows this game nicely open. 1-0. And that pass evades Hill. 
And a nice turn from Tanaka gets the Stingrays moving forward. The yellow swarm across the line, Towner shot. And the blocker save from Doyle. Towner falls over, that puck is trapped against the boards underneath Sam Towner. And we will get a stoppage in play and keep possession. Penalty on Davis has expired, he's back out of the box with five on five and the turnover. Can Davis reach this before Hay? He can. Matty Davis saved on the line and the net comes off. And there will be no penalty and there will be a frustrated Stingrays team that Davis not able to get it past Doyle who kept his right pad out just long enough to kick it away. And then Lozon takes a stumble behind the plate. Maybe the Steelers have got a one last shot in them. Brown gently to Chilcott. And the pass forward is tipped. And it won't quite reach Carl Lozon. And the final seconds will tick away of a second period. And it has been a good second period for the Hull Stingrays. They've got themselves back level. We're back underway at the start of the third period. The Stingrays are in yellow and the Steelers are in white. We are even strength at the start of the third. Goal updates from around the Elite League at the next break in play. Steelers with offensive zone possession to start off in this third session. Oh, they're just giving it away there as Saric was backing away rather than stepping into the play. Galbraith trying to bring it forward all on his own is dispossessed. Look across to the far side. And Hay has a little bit of time to check out his options. He'll send it deep and head to the bench. And David Brown kicked it away and got a little lucky on that one. And now Forney on the line change, moves in and scores! And it's Mike Forney again. The opposition, whoever they are, can't keep Mike Forney off the score sheet. Omar Pasha with his head in his hands, the line change. Everybody gone each other's way and realistically, Jonathan, it was a three on one. Penalty on Mosienko is about to expire. So the Steelers will now go on a very short power play. Oh, what a goal! Eddie goes whoosh, ping light. And it's a 3-1 Steelers lead. What a goal, what a shot from Cullen Eddy, fan favourite, that's why. Stingrays need to get the puck down the other end, they need to get some offence going. And Jameson will step forward and try and provide that, Galbraith. Around the Tulip trying to cut in front, Hay wouldn't let him. Nice hands from Lozon, can he find room for a shot? Carl Lozon's going all the way, saved and the follow-up is in from Galbraith and it's game on again here at the Hull Ice Arena. It's just a nice bit of work and it's a juicy rebound. Galbraith is there, I think it went five hole on Frankie Doyle. And he says, come on boys, as he comes back to the bench. Now who's got the leg, lead legs, now who's got it going, now who's got the momentum? The game is back on here. Galbraith. He goes down and it's going to be a penalty. And it's going to go against Mark Thomas. And now some pushing and shoving. And the Steelers have done this to themselves a few times this season, giving up late penalties. And now the helmets are off and the punches are coming in between Turcotte and Roy. And now Eddie is going after Jan Turcotte. And Turcotte's fighting back. What a scrap this is against the boards. Eddie is going for it. So's Turcotte. And they'll both head to the box. The Steelers fans chant Eddie, Eddie, Eddie again. And it was the initial penalty from Thomas that started it. And what a finish we're getting to this game. And it looks as though Eddie could well be third man in because that initial fight was Ruar and Turcotte. And so Eddie has been kicked from the game. And he's gesturing to the fans and pointing at the scoreboard. And he is letting the Stingrays fans know what he feels about this. This may not be the smartest thing he's ever done. But it was a heck of a scrap with Jan Turcotte. 
Well, they are going to put Forney in there to take it again. And it's tied up under the skates. It's cleared away by the Steelers. And Osman will have to chase it back. They can't be icing, of course. The Steelers are short-handed. We are six on four. And we're inside the final 30 seconds. Davis. Mosienko trying to get it from him. Maya trying to block it down the boards. Mosienko with the shot. I'm sure he was shooting for goal. It got blocked. But now Forney can bring it out. Can he backhand it on goal? He can't, but it will go wide. And there's almost no time left. Final five seconds. Oh, Mosienko with a great play to block it. And it's forward. And time expires. And the Sheffield Steelers are winners once again in the Challenge Cup against the Hull Stingrays. 13 out of 13 in the history of the Challenge Cup. And they will top Group B. And in the new year, they will take on the Dundee Stars in the quarterfinals. But for the Stingrays, it is home defeat six out of six.